Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be mounting mud flaps on my truck. I got these from the junkyard. They're pretty nice. Uh, I have some for the front too. They are... If I can get them out. These right here. Little ones that go on the front. So we're going to be putting all these on today. And then... Um, yeah. Alright guys, so before I go over our mounting hardware, I want to go over how we're going to be installing these. This will be the one for the other side. This is the one for this side. So we're going to be using these holes right here. And they're just going to go up like that so that the Ford truck faces towards the rear. And as you can see, they match up with the fender quite early. I know there's mud on my truck. They, mass up, they, they match up pretty nicely right there. So we're going to be using the, the holes that were already in them and um, drilling holes on the truck. Because a lot of people will just like run self tapping screws in it. That looks terrible, it rusts out, and the mounting hardware that, that was in here was completely rusted. So that's why I bought stainless stuff. I have stainless bolts and I have regular washers. Only because the, the stainless washers were really expensive, so I just have these regular washers. We'll be using those, and um, we'll do two bolts on each side on the back, and then we'll do one on the front because these things are super light. I think one bolt will hold them in place. If it don't, I'll go buy more and fix it later. But I think the one bolt will hold them, so uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So for this side, you can see I have a hole marked out to drill. Um, these, they had them actually screwed to the inner fender well. That's nice, but I'd like to have it right here. There's a factory screw hole there we can go into. So um, we're going to be drilling this out and mounting it here. everything mounted up I can get the camera to stop over got everything mounted up we have a bolt here bolt there and then I have a third one here just holding these two pieces together kind of helps the stability of this thing um, and the same thing on the other side I had to take the wheel off for this third bolt back here just because of the clearance between the tire and the well but anyway it works this thing really doesn't really move that much um, I guess I didn't showcase the front here's how I did the front I have a factory bolt hole right there I used and then I just put one screw right there and um, yeah so that's that's all, that's all I did to hold in the front here it's got two in the front it really doesn't move that much it moves a little bit over there I could probably use the third one but these don't really take as much of the brunt of the force as the back does because they're actually the spinning tires so that's why I wanted three on it but um yeah Alright, so we got the mud flaps installed. They're looking really awesome. I really like them, and I'm glad that I got to do them. Um, 
the reason that I really made this video is uh, basically for a reference because how you install mud flaps is kind of up to you there's a bunch of different ways to do it but I just wanted to show you guys one way of doing it where so that you could get a general idea for how to install yours or whatever you're doing anyways guys I want to thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time bye